Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss how do we create and execute a JavaScript simple code. Our first JavaScript code that is hello world script in JavaScript. So let's get started. First of all, I need to create a HTML document because we know that JavaScript codes we embed in the HTML document for execution. So I create first a HTML document. Let's get started. I go to start, type here notepad. I click on notepad. Then here I am going to write the HTML document. First I write less than exclamation mark doc type HTML greater than sign. This line indicates that the HTML document that we are writing here down is actually an HTML5 document. Then we write opening HTML tag, closing HTML tag. They indicate the beginning and ending of the HTML document. In HTML opening tag, we use lang equal to en to indicate the language of this HTML document is English. Then we know that HTML document is divided into two sections. One is the head section. Another one is the body section. Here opening head tag and closing head tag indicates the head section. Opening body tag and closing body tag indicates the body section. In between the head section, I am going to use meta char set equal to UTF-8 close. This line indicates the character set that we can use in this HTML document is UTF-8 character set. Then I say here title. Title is hello world script in Java script closing title. Now I am going to save this file file save as I save the file at desktop with the name first script dot html both sides i put double quotation you can see that i am saving the file as dot html so we are using the html document i click on save i minimize the notepad you can see that first script dot html page got created i right click on it open with the firefox you can see that the file got opened first script dot html and title is set to hello world script in javascript now i want to display here hello world in the browser window how do we do that? First thing as I told to execute JavaScript codes, we are going to embed them in the HTML document. To embed the JavaScript code, we use script tag. Script tag is a pair tag. So here I am writing opening script tag and closing script tag. Script tag has one of the attribute called as type attribute equal to in double quotation I say text or JavaScript. This indicates that whatever we write in between these two tags is going to be a plain text or a JavaScript code. As we need to display hello JavaScript or hello world on the browser window, we need to use a JavaScript object called as document. Document is a object available in JavaScript language. This document object refers to our HTML document. Inside the document object, we have a write method. To access that, we have to use member access operator called as dot. Dot is a member access operator. As I told, write method is inside the document object or write method is a member of document object. To access that member, I have to use a member access operator dot. Then I can access any member which is available in that specific object. In our case, document object. The method I am going to use is write method bracket bracket. Anytime you see a name followed by two brackets like this, you should understand that that is a method or a function. Okay, write is a function or a method present inside the document object. This write method accepts a string. So strings are written in JavaScript in double quotations. So here I have two double quotations. You can see pair of double quotations inside that anything we write is treated as a string in JavaScript. So here I write hello world. Hello world as we have sandwiched in between double quotations, it is called as a string. This string we are giving to write method and how we are giving that we are sandwiching that in opening bracket and closing bracket. You can see that if I remove this string control X, there is nothing in these brackets. 
we are giving this string to the right method to display this hello world string on to the document then every javascript statement is going to end with a semicolon so i am putting here semicolon at the end so this is one javascript statement or a instruction we are giving to the browser so what happens means the browser is going to write this hello world string on to the document let's see file save good browser and refresh you can see that we are seeing here hello world i minimize it both of them i right click on it open with the google chrome you can see that in google chrome also it is doing the same operation so remember that document dot write is used to display some text on the screen write method accepts a string strings are enclosed in double quotations and every statement in javascript end with a semicolon if you want to display one more time hello world on the browser window you can write one more time document dot write document object dot write method in double quotation i say hello world double quotation bracket close semicolon now this is another instruction that is also going to display hello world on the browser window so two times now we are going to see hello world file save good browser and refresh you can see i have one more time hello world displayed so two times we have hello world as many number of times we want we can display if we want something else also we can display instead of hello world maybe i can say here hello javascript quite simple i give one small space here so that let the browser display space also file save good browser and refresh you can see now we have hello world coming from one document dot write hello javascript is coming from another document dot write method so write is a method document is a object write is a member of the document object hence we are using dot a member access operator For this tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you to display some other text try to use this document dot write to display some text on the screen for more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited in the next tutorial we are going to get more information on javascript keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial